Well, we're going to look at how to graph some of these piecewise functions now. I'm going to just show you quickly using a table of values, and then we'll also show you how you can get Desmos doing the same thing. If I want to graph this table, I'm going to need to make one table for each part of my graph, so I'll color code a little bit. I'll do the first one in blue, uh, my x values, and then my rule, of course, is negative 3x minus 6. Now, it's important to realize that... Um, I'm going to start with my endpoint it gives me there, negative 3. And since it says x is less than negative 3, I'm going to pick numbers smaller than negative 3, like negative 4 and possibly negative 5. Honestly, when you're doing this with delta math, you really only have to have two points, but it's sometimes good to check. So to evaluate uh, for negative 3, I would do negative 3 times 3 minus 6, which is going to turn out to be... 9 minus 6, sorry, about wrote 16. 9 minus 6 would be 3, and that gives you that much. Then if I plug in the 4, negative 3 times 4 is 12 minus 6 is 6. Plugging in the negative 5, negative 3 times negative 5 is 15 minus 6 is 9. So that gives me my values there. Now, um, when I go to graph this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a point and I'm going to leave it on line and I'm going to basically start at uh, negative 3, 3, which is here. Well, and then I'm going to uh, pick another point. Sorry, I don't need to click it twice. Start at negative 3, 3, which is here. I'm having trouble with my cursor, but Okay, let's see if I can just click it. And then I need to drag until I get to my other point, which is negative 4, 6, which is there. And that gives me a line. Now, the problem is this line should keep on going. It should go to negative 5. It should go to negative 6. It should keep on going. Just so to fix that, I'm going to click the end point of this line. If I click it once, it makes it an open circle. If I click it again, it makes it a line. If I keep clicking it, it keeps changing uh, the dot, but my choices I have is a closed circle, an open circle, and a line. And on this one, to find out what this endpoint should be, since this does not have an equal to, that should have been an open circle endpoint. So I want this one to be an open circle there at negative three, and then making a line by dragging and going that way. Uh, now, let's go ahead and try the other one. I'm going to go ahead and change the color maybe to purple. And for this one, I'm going to pick a table with X values starting at 5. And it's greater than, so 5 and bigger, so 5, 6, 7 maybe. My rule is just a 6. So since there's nowhere to put an X, it's just always 6. Then what I can do is I can graph the point 5, 6, make sure I'm turned on line there. And I'm going to start at positive 5, 6, over 5, up 6. Click and drag to make my line. I can go to 6, 6. I can go to 7, 6. You notice it's the same line regardless. Now, it would go 5, 6, 7 and keep on going. So I need to click it until it makes it a line going that way. And on this side, I'm going to need to make that an open circle because, once again, it also doesn't have an equal to there. So that's an open circle there. And that should be my answer. Now, I will warn you, delta math will be picky. And if you don't have your open and closed circles correct, or if you don't make your line extend, it will not count this correct. But that should be a correct answer. Now, I promised to uh, show you Desmos as well. So I'm going to pull Desmos up. And the first equation is a for x is less than negative 3. So I'm just going to type in my curly brace to get my piecewise. And it's x is less than negative 3. And remember, you do your colon, and then um, the equation there is negative 3x minus 6. So negative 3x minus 6, and that is going to, oops, it put my brace in the wrong place. We'll fix that. And you see it has correctly graphed that part of the graph. If I do the other part for x is greater than 5. You could put these in one line separated by commas and the rule 6. The one thing it doesn't show you is the endpoints. You'll have to figure those out on your own, but Desmos can